This is a demonstration of the new uh, assembly mass property support in simplified assemblies for NX um, 2212, the December 2022 release of NX. Uh, with the, the simplify assembly command, uh, we've got a really nice tool now for taking uh, assemblies that may be very complex and bringing those down to a simplified a set of geometry that can be really, really useful in the context of parent assemblies. Uh, this particular one that we're looking at here is a little auxiliary control unit that's got a bunch of PCBs inside, lots and lots of uh, chip level detail and things like that, board level detail going on. And you see this has got about 3,700, almost 3,800 components here in uh, in this little assembly. And as we're putting this into, for instance, our aircraft, maybe a higher level aircraft assembly, we, we really don't need all of the board level um detail there we, we may need uh, we, we, we may want to have a simplified representation of this uh, to put in there so that our, our top level um, aircraft assembly maybe is not not uh, as heavy and um, we see this very commonly in in things like um, uh, things with an instrument panel for instance <laughs> various types of, of heavy equipment or automotives or or, uh, or aircraft as well, where you've got electronics and things that go in the dashboard and uh, uh, or behind the instrument panel in the cockpit and that, uh, again, are, are fairly heavy uh, assemblies in their own right, uh, but we don't need all of that detail uh, in the context of the top level. So uh, so this kind of thing, um, th this control unit, things like radios and, and uh, other displays and things like that, very common technique here to do a simplified assembly and use that in the in the context of the top level. But we want to make sure that we get all of the mass and inertial properties there so that we can roll those up nicely. So looking at this particular one, we have all the properties up to date here. You see that we've got a mass here that's just under five kilograms, 49422. That you can remember that number. <laughs> and... Uh, not just mass, but but also the CG down here and the moments of inertia and products of inertia and so forth. Got all the inertial properties for this assembly here as well. One of the things that we're going to be able to do with the new simplify assembly command or the, the changes here in this version is uh, is transfer really the uh, the properties of this this big assembly here into our simplified uh, assembly representation. And, uh, and this is going to be super handy because we're going to be able to have really high fidelity uh, mass properties in our in our simplified representation where the geometry is going to be much, much simpler, right? Uh, but we'll have the full, again, mass and, and inertial properties of the original assembly available there so that we can, uh, we can use those in roll-ups in, in good ways. So let's, let's see how this works. As we go into simplify assembly here, NX is going to take a, take a run at doing this. Uh, it's going to grab all those components and, and start to look at um, what, it, what it can hide, right? And it's done a bunch of that out here. We'll, we'll see that here in just a minute. <laughs> um, it's going and removing some small bodies and taking out holes that are smaller than a certain size and internal voids and things like that. And, uh, and in the process, uniting bodies and, and coming up with a very simplified uh, a set of geometry over here on the right-hand side. We've got it right now creating a new part. You can put this into the current part or stuff it into another part out there. But we're creating a new part in this case called Simplify 1 here. And, and this will be a really nice, again, um, kind of empty representation. The inside will, will, will be very, very uh, spacious <laughs> when, we, when we look at it here in a minute. And, uh, and this could be a great thing, for instance, uh, for a supplier to send uh, send to an OEM, for instance, or again, to use in, in that kind of large assembly context. Um, down here at the bottom, this is the new switch down here in, in this version. Uh, we have the option here to store the calculated values, which again, is that whole table of mass pro and mass and inertial properties we were looking at just a minute ago. We can store these into the new simplified representation. Uh, and that's what we're going to do in this case. There's a second use case here that's specifically really around coatings. And um, for the purpose of coatings, sometimes uh, people will want to create this kind of a, a united shell uh, out here. Again, with, with some of the bodies united where you've got uh, ma mating parts and things that are all near each other. And, and it makes it a little easier to select big regions, for instance, for uh, the exterior things that are going to get painted after assembly, right? So you bring together the, the various uh, various pieces of the outside of the shell, merge those together into to one continuous body out there. And then it's uh, easy to select the entirety of the outside for, uh, the, again, the purpose of, of putting coatings on that. 
right? So the, the zero case is a, a different one. Uh, we're going to look at the calculated one here today. <laughs> and so as we do this, we'll say, okay, this is very quickly going to going to give us this new simplify one part out there. And uh, and as we look at this one now, uh, switch to this part again. No components here. It's a single part. You'll notice that we've still got that four nine four two two mass uh, in this particular part. So that's that's really good. And as we select it, you'll notice that that it actually has the full set again of all of the mass and inertial properties down here uh, that have been transferred over from the original assembly, right? So in our simplified here, we've got a very, very high fidelity set of, of mass properties available. Um, in the original assembly, you'll notice as we come in and, and look at this, it's showing us that we've got all those components and, and it's uh, using the reference set here. It's using uh, empty at the top level assembly and no, no geometry at the top level assembly. Um, no codings in this one at this at this point. Um, and this is where it's kind of a normal display for, for an assembly. As we look at the simplified one here, what you'll see is that uh, a bunch of those are going to be simplified away, right? Um, we're not really looking at a reference set anymore at this point. We've, we've transferred a set of properties and we're going to not update those properties now anymore, right? very much by design. Uh, one of the things that's very common, for instance, after we do this kind of a simplification is uh, if we come and look at this and uh, yeah, clip that off, you can see that NX has, has taken out most of the guts of this, right? We've left some detail up here at the top that's exterior detail that in this case are, are obviously ports and things that we, we may want to have high fidelity geometry for to, to do interfaces. Um, we've got attachment bolts down here, of course, that, that uh, screws that are doing the same kind of thing. Um, but the interior is, is uh, oh, taken away here, right? Now, there's apparently a little air gap somewhere <laughs> in the in the shell here, which is which is fine. This is not intended to be a watertight assembly. Um, and, and so it, it's not simplified away all of the interior just yet, right? Now, we may want to go after the fact now and, and go in and do a little bit of modeling and, and for instance, grab some things and, and sweep them all the way across here and, and fill in the, the inside here and just make this one really big solid. Um, really taking away half of the faces, right? As a bunch of these interior faces go away, that would simplify the geometry significantly. Um, but, uh, but, and we can do that, right? And the point is that we can go in and, and kind of monkey with the simplification after the fact. And, 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 and from the mass properties perspective, doing that, changing this geometry and changing the mass, uh, changing the volume of, of what's there is not going to affect these transferred properties at all, very much by design, right? Once we've transferred these from the original assembly, we're, we're not ever going to try to update those again in the simplification, right? Uh, it's important to know this is not an associative operation today either, right? Once we've done that, that simplification, created that simplification and transferred those properties, this is a completely standalone part now. It's not looking back at the, the parent assembly to see if there are changes and things here. Again, we may uh, very much by design may have a bunch of manual edits that we do to this one down downstream, and we're not going to try to replay those over the top of an associative edit, for instance, coming from the, the parent assembly there. Okay. So uh, again, simplify here. We're going to transfer those properties, get a really rich set of those that come across um, all of the, the exact numbers that were in the original assembly. Uh, so this is going to give you a really sharp, um, a simplified piece that you can then, again, use in the context of large assemblies, for instance, larger, <laughs> large assemblies, and uh, get very high fidelity properties, be able to do not just mass roll-ups, but, but inertial roll-ups as well uh, in the context of that, uh, that, bigger, that bigger assembly. Okay, so I hope you find that useful.